Hi, and welcome to Mariella's Italian Kitchen. Today I will be showing you how to make a creamy zucchini pasta sauce. It is excellent and it's a great summertime dish. have two zucchini but normally you would use three. You're going to cut the butts off and then you're going to, um, I like to leave them about a quarter of an inch thick. I'm making a mess. To my pan, I'm going to add oil, and I have some garlic that I've previously chopped up. I'm going to add some garlic. I'm going to add a, a slice of butter to it. My zucchini. And we're going to let these tender up a little bit. We're going to add a half a cup of water, half a glass of water. Now you're going to let these uh, soften up a little bit, bit. So while those are cooking, you might want to go to the stove and prepare your pasta. You can use any kind of pasta, homemade, box, whatever you like. And as you can see, I have already pre-boiled some pasta today. You're going to, at this point when the uh, zucchini are tender, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese, Stir that in. Some heavy cream. Stir that in. A little bit of salt and pepper. And when this starts to thicken up, you're going to want to turn your fire off and wait for your pasta to boil. I'm now at the point where my pasta sauce is um, completely cooked. I'm going to add the noodles. And then you just continue stirring this until you don't have any more liquid. You want all the heavy cream to coat all your pasta. You'll, so you'll continuously mix it. Now keep in mind I'm using bow ties today but you can use any pasta that you like from homemade to penne, spaghetti, whatever you desire. I today used bow ties because I thought they looked pretty. And there you go. It's all coated. Then if you're having gas tonight for dinner and you want to serve this as your meal, what you'll do is you'll take it from the pan. You're going to do everything in the pan on your stove. You don't need to boil, put in a dish, mix. You're going to do everything in your skillet. Then what you do is from the skillet, you're going to place it in a nice serving dish. You'll sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on the top and keep in mind this is already grinded, grated but you can also use the fresh uh, parmesan and you grate it yourself and there you go. And prior to serving this and putting it on the table you can get fancy and garnish it with a little basil and the dish looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you, thank you for watching.